first issue I ran into, and it's not a major one, was the handlebars, specifically the gas. Uh, when you mount this thing, you want to mount it in a way that this is easily accessible. I should have mounted it um, definitely a little bit more rotated down and have this come underneath. No biggie. Next thing, the clutch. The clutch was incredibly stiff and um, originally this piece here right in here went there was a spring that went over that cable well you don't really need that spring and on the other side let me show you in one second on this side there's a very big spring well I got them reversed um, for about a minute and it took me took me a minute to figure it out um, the only purpose of this big spring is to protect the cable from the hot cylinder. I took off this plate here, one, two, three screws and one bolt on the other side. I took that off and I lubed, there's a piece in here and it's uh, it's kind of like a semicircle. Uh, when this, when that piece moves, it uh, rotates the piece inside that pushes a shaft in and out which uh, releases your chain and that's your whole clutch mechanism. Um, I, I oiled that and I took that spring out and that seemed to make a pretty pretty big difference but it still is very stiff very stiff. Let's move on to the carburetor. Um, one issue I had was uh, the instructions were in Chinese so uh, that's, your, that's your, your choke when you want your choke on this, this lever here is up. Don't do it up all the way. That didn't seem to work. Go up all the way and then, then move it down maybe uh, you know half an inch. Uh, get it warmed up and then uh, slowly move it down and you'll uh, when, when you start feeling the burst of power uh, you're warmed up. When you're putting on the sprocket you want to put these screws on. You want to put these bolts through um, pretty loosely. Um, before you make sure it's completely round, completely uh, even. Uh, when you spin it, you know you shouldn't see any uh, movement to up or down. It should be completely round when it spins. So you put that on, start spinning it, and then you can uh, adjust it and slowly tighten each one. And when you start tightening them, tighten this side, then tighten the other side, tighten up here, then go down. Don't start tightening them in circles. And one issue I had was when I tightened it, it messed up the spokes. The uh, spokes were uh, um, a little, little. Uh, how would you say, warped? So the wheel wasn't spinning correctly. So I had to actually adjust the uh, adjust the tightness of the spokes with a with a uh, spoke wrench. This is the tool I used on the spokes, and very simply, it slips on, slips up here. If you want to pull this side this way, in case it's case it's warped on that side, you simply tighten, tighten this, the spokes that are on the uh, same side. Another issue was the fender. It's a cheap puppy. The fender stuck out too much and there was no way I was going to clear it, so I simply cut it. One last thing I forgot to mention, and it is the most important thing of all. Brakes. Get yourself a brake. I have a uh, rear coaster brake, and it's uh, it works, but you know I wouldn't depend on it too much. And I'm going to mount this here. I would have to change the forks if I want to put a disc brake on. Uh, there's no uh, way to bolt the disc brake onto this thing, so I'm going to use an old-fashioned whatever you call this kind of brake.